Me personally, I have like a nine year old, but I train them. Ready? Sometimes when you're backing up, you hear, I mean, you want to keep your chin down, but at least if you're backing up, you're out of range. But don't lean back, you can step back, move your head to the side, it's under, spread through this. So you're going to hit the chin.
you give that reading on the control. If you keep that and the bar is pretty good, you let it slap. Otherwise, you move your feet on the chest. But I'm coming in, I'm boxing, I'm looking when you punch. Also, know that I'm going to try to punch back. So, you're setting your punches, you're going to punch into a good position, or cut an angle so you're not in front, or move your head, or move your feet. I mean, you have to be able to make that determination, but don't just don't punch and look at me, but I'm going to punch you back. Right? you with that right? <laughs> but you know, that's how it goes. You're always going to be taking risks, but if you're taking a risk trying to come up with a reward, otherwise, move your feet and don't sit in front of somebody. Take deep breaths. If you hold your breath and you're huffing puff, you're going to get tired quick. One more. experience, yeah. you know, but I'll take it. You can't like if your, your brain's that safe. I'm like whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. Breathe. Right? So that's A. Before everything else, let's get that breathing down. So whenever you're not punching, instead of it also it's like again, besides like getting the energy back, it's hard to stay relaxed like that. So breathing is number one. Number two, this happens with fatigue. But if I want to throw a hard jab, I can step into the jab with one feet or two feet. But if I like try to push it, or if I push it and then it doesn't land and I row it back. You're rolling the ball. In training, you snap and you bring it back really good. Things happen differently in sparring, right? So when you snap the jab, stay there, snap the jab, pop. Throw it harder, pop. Perfect. Go, pop, no one wants. Pop, good. And the hand comes back to the face, right? You are pushing it. And if you push it and it doesn't land, and you roll it on the way back, someone's going to shoot the right hand. So if that happens to you one or twice, I'll pop. I'm climbing in my jab. So let me punch and bring it back. Or punch and roll. Pop. Exactly. Right? Or punch and step back. Pop. Good. Or punch and pull the guard. Pop. Exactly. Right? Or punch and slip. There we go. Again? Good. So we have a couple of different options. You can just say, okay, I know he's going to do this, and then sometimes people just do this. Right? Or don't do the chip hard. Do the 
faster you bring it back. The harder you throw it, the slower it comes out and back. The faster you throw it, the quicker it gets there, but then the quicker it gets back. It's hard for somebody to time that punch. So my range isn't as, as big as yours. So like, I like to make the stack you short. I got to keep coming in to effectively. Some, somewhat, yes, but also yeah. hands up, back up. Stay there. I can't hit you either. So step in punching, and then step out. Step in punching, and then step out. Step in different combination, then cut the angle. There we go. Now, it's very hard for me to hit you if you're here and I'm square off here. Right, step in punching, angle right. I can kind of like come all the way around or like turn toward you like that, but that's a lot harder than if you're just sitting right in front of me, I'm gonna hit you here, yeah. So when you're done with your punches, step in punching, step out. Look at the angle, it all works. Hands up, and a couple times I stepped in punching, step back, step back. So even though you can't hit me, I'm not hitting you. So if you're a shorter range fighter, hands up, don't move, right? You wanna be here, so you're outside my weapon or take a big step in or you're inside my weapon. You just don't want to be here while I'm hitting you and you can't hit me. And sometimes it's a game of literally inches, an inch or two. Right here I can hit you, you might not be able to hit me from me. Put your jab all the way out, freeze. Please say I can touch you. We're talking about literally an inch and a half, two inches. Sometimes that's, that, that's how it goes down, right? But also from there, do the half step, only the front foot. Mm, 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 exactly. So you can half step to touch somebody from here. Can't hit you, right? Or, Walk forward blocking. You shall slow, slow, get closer. Get closer and move faster. Move faster. Now that's it. Hey, hey. Yeah, and that's another thing. Because if we start coming here, you can't see what's going on. Right? So start, start, start right there, start right there. Throw a couple jabs and come forward in the shell. Move faster. Move faster. Move faster. Move faster. Get closer. Get closer. Get closer. Get closer. Get closer. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. And don't keep rising. But if you just this, you're going to get hit though. You're going to get hit. You're going to take shots. You're going to take some hit shots. But when you get there, then you give it to him. And when you're punching, right hands up. Shut up. See, you don't come punch on. Turn, turn, turn. Sometimes you're like, you're arming it. And if you're arming it, you need way, you need so much, yeah, not only that, but you use a lot of energy to arm it and not have as much power. And this is a lot easier to see coming versus just being here. Boom. And from here, I have more weight, cost less energy, get more power. Right, so hands up. Turn your whole body when you punch. Nice and easy, but turn your whole body. Yeah, there you go. See, and it also has the rhythm. It's hard to see the shots coming. Do that again. Make sure your hands are on your face when you're punching. Yep. Good, good. Yep, that's it. Good. And then you break. Yep, yep, yep. Sit, yep. sit. Yep. That's it. Look up high. Always look up high. Deep breaths. Nice and easy. And count Turn your body. Nice and easy. Turn your body. Yeah, good. Turn your body when you punch. Don't lean forward. Sit, 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 sit. Look. Yep, nice shot. That's it. And sometimes you're gonna get shots in there, sometimes they're gonna get shots in there. You're fighting, you're battling, but you're in a good, safe position, right? Throw some punches, cover up, cover up, deep breaths, look, and then punch back. Now back up, sir. Take your hands up your head, breathe, long deep breaths, step in punching. Good, good, step back, step back. Good, now step in punching, now move your head. Move your head, hey, move your head. Look, 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 that happens. Move your head, under, good. And the punch, come there. There we go. Step back. So there's different things you can do. It's not like I'm short. I only have to go forward. I only have to find an inside because I'm really good on the inside. So I'm better on the inside than I'm on the outside. So you might not want to stay on the inside too long with you. But I'm also really good on the outside. So it's like sometimes you come across guys that are really good at both. So if I want to fight you on the inside, stay on the outside. If I want to fight you on the outside, make me fight and engage and get on the inside. And you get to learn different things like that. You know, um, I think overall you did a lot of good stuff, and then the other things that we can improve on, we just spoke about, everything's a work in progress. And then you also watch the tape, see what you were doing. Okay, I was doing this right, okay, I wasn't doing that. And then I ask a question, at six minutes and four seconds, you did this, and what should I have done? All right, so the question will work, will work like a round or two of drills, and particularly in our lesson drills, go over all of that. It's always a learning experience. You'll box with me a bunch of times, I'll put you to box with other people. I wanna make sure, like you did tell you, you have to control, you're relaxed, and we'll to see offensively and defensively, like what you're doing right and wrong. You always like fine tune, like the spars and the lessons. Is that fun? Yeah, absolutely. Um, good job, good job. Thank you.